back ladies and gentlemen, my name's Camel, and more importantly, welcome back to The Elder Scrolls Online, which has recently made a big announcement. And if you know me at all, one I am fairly excited for. Firstly, I'd like to apologize for this video being made a couple of days late, I've had a hectic schedule over the past week. It's currently 2am and I have to be in the city again at 9am for the RTX convention, so just know that I am really going out of my way to make this video for you all. So, on the 31st of January, or on the 1st of February for me here in Australia, the new and upcoming Morrowind expansion slash DLC was announced for the Elder Scrolls Online. Yes. Yes, yes, I am excited. Now before we talk about what it will bring, collector's editions and why I'm excited, I want to clear up two things as there is confusion over the title and also mass misinformation over who actually develops The Elder Scrolls Online. So firstly, ZeniMax Online Studios makes The Elder Scrolls Online, not Bethesda Game Studios. So the guys that we're waiting on to make The Elder Scrolls 6 have nothing to do with The Elder Scrolls Online. So don't worry, the fact that expansions and new content are being made for ESO does not impact Bethesda Game Studios at all and will not change their development cycle. So don't be mad at The Elder Scrolls Online for The Elder Scrolls 6's long wait. That's like being mad at Queen because you want a new Beatles album. It's two completely different groups of people working on two completely different games. Secondly, the title of the the expansion Morrowind. In this expansion we will be returning to the island of Vardenfell in which the game Morrowind was set. And while Vardenfell isn't the entirety of the province of Morrowind, when people think of the name Morrowind they think of Vardenfell because that is where the game was set. And again this is where the new Morrowind expansion for the Elder Scrolls Online will be taking us back to. Back to Vardenfell, back to all those good memories. So although in ESO we have explored other parts of Morrowind to the south, such as Stone Falls and Dijan, we will be making our way north back to Memory Lane. Now the general gist of the expansion definitely seems to have a big connection to the Morag Tong faction, which is kind of like a Morrowind specific Dark Brotherhood, but the Morag Tong is actually the only legally sanctioned guild of assassins in Tamriel, so we won't be working outside of the law with them. It was mentioned that the Morrowind expansion will bring over 30 hours of new gameplay and quests and will also be a new choice of starting area for new players or new characters. Of course, because of One Tamriel's release, any character at any level can now go to Morrowind and experience level appropriate content. Pete Hines had also mentioned that the three houses we encountered in the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind will be returning. House Redoran, Hlaldu and Telvanni. I definitely find this exciting as the three houses were a very interesting and unique questing and faction experience experience in The Elder Scrolls 3. It is also confirmed that we will be returning to the city of Vivek, which is still under construction. We also get a glimpse of the city of Vivek at the end of the cinematic trailer. Now one of the tribunal members, Vivek, is a half Dunma, half Kaima demigod who we will be helping, as the main quests for Morrowind's DLC in The Elder Scrolls Online will be based around helping Vivek regain and maintain his powers. If his powers fail, the small moonlet Bardal, the big rock floating above Vivek will come crashing down and quite literally ruin Vardenfell, as this is what happens during the Oblivion Crisis and is what sets off the eruption of Red Mountain. But The Elder Scrolls Online is set hundreds of years before these events, so none of them have actually happened yet. And this Morrowind expansion for ESO is also set before the awakening of Dagoth Ur, which means that Red Mountain is pretty much inactive. And what that means is that the surrounding areas and vegetation of Vardenfell will be very very untouched and unaffected by ash. So this is very exciting for me. I think we will be seeing a much more tropical Vardenfell. As we can see in the cinematic trailer, the forests look thick, lush, and very, very jungly. I actually thought that this trailer was set in Black Marsh, just because it was so dense and Amazon-like. But the giant mushrooms and the Dwemer ruins gave away that this is in fact Morrowind, as there are no Dwemer ruins in Black Marsh. Also, the developers confirmed that the vegetation will be much richer and we can also see it in this concept art for the expansion. It looks like an alienized version of Black Marsh's and Valenwood's baby. Very exciting. So we will be working with the Morag Tong to help Vivek keep his powers for the good of a lush and jungly Vardenfell. 
I'm keen as a bean. Now don't be too worried as ZeniMax Online Studios has even taken the height map from the original Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind and have painstakingly tried to recreate the areas we know and love. So while being completely new and revamped, it will feel familiar and be what we loved originally. So now let's talk about new changes and things being introduced to the game. First of all, the biggest bear in the room, the new class the Warden is being brought in. This is the first new class introduced to the game ever since the game's release. The Warden uses defensive frost abilities, nature-based healing magics, and can call upon the help of creatures and animals in combat, including an ultimate ability to summon a bear. But stand aside bear, because more importantly, the Warden can call upon the help of a cliff racer. As Morrowind as Morrowind gets, a goddamned cliff racer. Now Morrowind also introduces new trials for you to challenge yourself with, and most excitingly, it will introduce new Battlegrounds. This will be four versus four versus four base battlegrounds with different objectives such as death matches, capture the flag, and other ones they were not willing to announce yet. Now I'm not much of a PvPer, but for those that are, they will be loving this more intimately based PvP system. They have also added the tag that of course there will be much more cool stuff coming with the Morrowind expansion, but just remember it's still four months away, so they will still be working on stuff and can't necessarily give away every tiny detail. So the Morrowind DLC or expansion for the Elder Scrolls Online will be released worldwide on all platforms on the 6th of June 2017. Again, the 6th of the 6th, 17. The 6th of June this year. Save the date, take the day off work, do whatever you gotta do. So if you're wondering what exactly you're getting, it's been said that it has over 30 hours of new gameplay and Vardenfell is undoubtedly the biggest zone in the Elder Scrolls Online and according to Pete Hines, it's absolutely massive. Now pricing, the Morrowind Upgrade Expansion Pack is $40. This gives you the Morrowind Expansion, obviously. This includes the Discovery Pack, which comes with an exclusive Warden costume that the Warden character wears in the cinematic trailer. It comes with a Dwarven War Dog pet. It also comes with treasure maps, Dwarven Crown Crates, and Experience Scrolls. Now this Discovery Pack is all included with the most base purchase of the expansion, so you'll be getting all of these goodies no matter what. So you can get all that and the expansion for 40 US dollars. Next is the Digital Collector's Edition, which comes with everything previously mentioned and also an armored warhorse mount with a Dwemer styling to it, a Dwarven Spider Pet, the Moragtong Armor Converter, which allows you to convert any armor you find to the Moragtong style. You'll get the Grey War Bear, which allows you to change the skin of your Warden's War Bear to grey, and you'll also get the DLC Unique Player Emotes. Now I'm not actually sure what the cost of this is, as my website is shown in Australian dollars, but I think it will be roughly 70 US dollars. Best to check for yourself though. And finally, we have the physical collector's edition, which comes with everything previously mentioned as well as some physical goodies. We'll be getting Naru's journal, a full color, large format art book, chronicling the assassin's pursuit of a conspiracy across Tamriel. We'll get the Dwarven Colossus statue, a 12 inch tall replica of the Colossus that we saw in the announcement trailer right at the end there. That huge Dwemer machine that we've never seen before in Elder Scrolls. It is also a boss that we will encounter in the new trial, the Halls of Fabrication. In the physical collector's edition, we will also be getting a full cloth map of Morrowind. Yes, please. And finally, it also comes with a special metallic game case bearing the marks of Vivek and the Tribunal. Now the price for this will vary depending on where you buy it, and if you do want it, check all of your local gaming outlets now, as you don't want to miss out on this, of course provided you wanted it in the first place. So is it worth it? Well, to be honest, I don't like it when people tell you whether something's worth it or not. I'm not going to have the audacity to tell you whether or not it is or isn't worth it. I don't know you, I don't know your financial situation, so I simply cannot evaluate whether it's worth it or not for you. But you know who does know that stuff? You do, so you can decide for yourself. Of course, for me, I'd pay $200 to just walk around a newly mapped out Vardenfell, let alone the quest and new content, so $40 for me is a steal. But then again, I'm a psychopath. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Morrowind DLC for the Elder Scrolls Online. 
I'm excited. Of course, I am keen to hear your feedback. Let me know if you are keen for the Morrowind DLC and be sure to let me know why. Remember, ZeniMax Online Studios and The Elder Scrolls Online have nothing to do with Bethesda Game Studios and The Elder Scrolls 6. So don't ye worry yourself or make any misinformed comments. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more Elder Scrolls related content. Leave a like to fill my soul with life and happiness. And I'll see you in a couple of months in Morrowind and in a few seconds in in my next video. I'll see you there in a second. Return swiftly, Morag Tong, and bring any allies you